Hi everyone, this is Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your how to win at sports betting video series video on Moneyline Underdogs. One of my favorite things to bet is Moneyline Underdogs. Matter of fact, I'm Mr. Dog of the Day, right? So who takes more underdogs than I do? I'm the guy, the reason why you know I've gained any kind of popularity out there is because I'm willing to make the pick that nobody else is willing to stick their neck out on. Really, when you look at point spreads, when you look at odds, these are just numbers created by Las Vegas lines makers to try and even out the action on one side or the other. It isn't really an indication that one team is going to win by more or win by less than the other team. Yeah, there are certain games where certain teams are just <laughs> they're just way better than the other team. And the outcome is pretty much a foregone conclusion. But there is a reason they play the game. And I'll tell you what, upsets happen. The thing with money line underdogs, you got to figure out a way to make these upsets work for you. The beauty of betting money line underdogs is that you're getting plus money. Meaning if you bet $100, you're going to win a hundred and something. You know, you're always going to be getting plus money. If you're betting money line favorites, you bet you, have, you might have to bet $200 to win 100 but with money line underdogs you bet you know for instance if your base unit is 100 you can bet 100 you could win 1000 you could win 475 the bigger the underdog is the bigger the odds are the bigger the payout and I'll tell you what the bigger the payout of the games that you bet the fewer games you have to win to turn a profit that's the beauty of betting on money line underdogs like you could take a team that's maybe minus 14 points in an NFL football game we all know upsets do happen you and say if you bet them on the money line and they're plus 425 so if they if you happen to, to win on a plus 425 underlying underdog money line wager and say you bet five games that day if you if you went one and four you'd still end up with a 25 dollar profit when all is said and done if one of your wins was your plus 425 money line underdog and i'm not saying that plus 425 money line underdogs come in all the time but i'll tell you money line underdogs come in a lot more often than the public gives it credit for it's kind of almost like playing the stock market the public rarely prepares for the thing that's the worst case scenario or the unlikely scenario because they're afraid it might they're afraid of the possibility of it actually happening and i think it's the same thing with sports betting and that's where we can take advantage of the public psyche they seem to think that the great teams never lose but actually it happens more often than you think if you look at last year at the 2018 super bowl champions well the 2019 super bowl the 2018 nfl season the new england patriots they were 11 and 5 during the regular season they had a losing record on the road they were 3 and 5 it happens. Great teams lose games. And when they do, and they're great teams, you can really cash in. The 2019 Boston Red Sox were favored at, at minus 200, minus 300 odds. They, they barely finished above 500. If you bet on the Red Sox every single game, you were a big loser last season, even though they ended up with a winning record overall for the season. It's because the money line worked against them. Meanwhile, if you took a team like the Minnesota Twins, who are basically underdogs in most of their games, and you got plus money on them, you had a fantastic season. It's the teams that nobody sees coming. The ones that are le less popular are the ones where you're always going to find that money line value. And I'm not saying that they always pull the upset. I'm not saying they always have winning records, but I'm just saying these are the lines where we can generally find the value. The teams that are flying under the radar. There's rare you're going to find value on the Alabamas, the LSUs, the New England Patriots, the, the, the Rams, the Packers. These aren't the value teams. The money line value teams are always going to be the underdogs and the ones kind of like the, the middle market teams. So look for the value on the money line. Pick your spots where you think that an underdog has a chance to win a game outright in some of these point spread games. And you don't have to have a winning record that day and you can still end up on the plus side of the money. Join me in the Facebook group. I'm going I'm to have more on this topic. I get asked this question all the time because I take so many money line underdogs. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll follow up on this topic. I'll be uh, trying to be more specific and, of course, get some graphics going to try and explain to you some more examples of how betting money line underdogs can be very profitable for you. Have a great day, everyone, and be sure to check us out over at PickDogs.com. This is Mitch. Have a great day.